Good morning, everybody. I'm here. I'm here. How is everybody going? Doing, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, happy Thursday. The weekend is almost upon us. Hopefully, everybody had nice prime shopping days the last couple days, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed the last couple days of streams. Now, today we're gonna just be doing some uh, cool little uh, products. Plus, uh, I have a little bit of unboxings. We're gonna do live. We're gonna showcase some products live today. So. Yeah, have some fun with that. But on top of that, we are going to do one giveaway today. We're going to do a $5 gift card giveaway. Uh, I have to wait for chat to load. So if you guys bear with me, we're waiting for chat to load. Unfortunately, uh, not sure what's going on with that. Uh, if anybody's listening in, let me know that you guys can actually see me because I actually cannot. Not really sure why. Really weird. So we do have some products today, guys. But like I said, I'm trying to get chat to load. And I cannot see any chat. Uh, hopefully some of our followers are in there. Weird that I cannot see chat. So I'm going to try one last thing real quick, guys. Sure here. I can see chat over there. Why? That's weird. So, if you guys want to enter for a five dollar gift card, right there is the link, everyone. So, like I said, <laughs> we're we're trying to work with this. We're trying to get chat going. Put this one up instead. Is that his chat today? Alrighty. Now, guys, the first couple products up are products that I have done and I actually quite enjoy. Uh, one sec, everybody. I thank you for the falls, guys. All right, like I said, the first couple products coming up, guys, are some awesome products that I actually had hands on with. And uh, hoping to move to full time with one of them. That is the first one up. This is from Innocent. This is their ultra wide monitor. It is a 40 inch WQHD monitor, guys. This thing is a beast of a monitor, but I'm telling you, it is a monitor that nonetheless that is just gorgeous. So we're going to play a little video of that. James here. And today we're taking a quick look right at the new product, guys. This is from Innocent. This is their new monitor. This is a 40C1R model number guys this is a 40 inch ultra wide screen monitor this is a 21 to 9 contrast ratio guys which is really really cool now it is a 12001 high ratio contrast which is the coloration now the 21 to 9 is the actual the dimension ratio which is very very cool really really wide guys now oh there's chat. actually chat's HDR. now working 500 nits see you guys i can see just it just amazing this does have amd free sync this is, a, you know, this monitor can actually do split screen. So if you use one of the two HDMI ports or the USB-C or the display port, you can divide this monitor in half. Now, I have the Nintendo Switch. Now, the cool for, thing is, guys, is I want to point this out, is it actually you can do picture in picture or split screen or choose the direction where you want the picture in picture, which is actually really cool. You know, showing, you know, to show you guys this, right now now the cool thing is i'm going to show you guys a couple things on its base guys and i'm going to move some stuff around so we can show you guys this you can swivel it <laughs> hey in how you doing man? directions right not just that way but you can swivel it angle it that way or you can raise and lower it now i have it down low on purpose and i have it angled at you for a reason we do have a switch hooked up we have some mario hooked up right which is cool Pop Intel up, controller you know, dies and I had to grab another one. This. Now, like I said, it does have two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you have multiple other hey, pieces. Faustino. Now, you could yeah, use James a Visa mount to James is always here. What are you talking about? Need to be Even when he's set. And support at least 30 pounds. So just remember that, guys. And that's what I'm needing now, as I'm a monitor sure stand for my desk for that. showing me all this, right? Because probably I haven't played in a while. But we're trying to show you guys some colorations. That coloration is just amazing. 
Now, for such a big a monitor, you, got it, so you will need the space. Now, like I said, it does have a USB-C uh, style plug in there. It does have HDMI ports. It also has the display port, guys. And you also have one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does have speakers built in. Now it is highly compatible with all your consoles, so don't worry, that's why I have the switch hooked up for you today and showing you guys this, which is actually quite cool. And like you know, like I said, it will take an HDMI 2.0 or the type C 90 watt port or the display port if you need. It is a 95% DCI P3 wide color gamut, so you have a multiple of colors. Now we are gonna, you know, kind of pop into this and we're just gonna. Okay, now that I got it hooked up, guys, let's uh, try and mess around here, right? Coloration, guys, the size. Yeah, this this just color. makes the perfect monitor for a desk. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people run dual monitors. This can take care of that as a dual monitor on one, which is really great to have that option. Oh, head off to another kingdom. So he's going to see very great. Now, the cool thing is, like I said, you know, I'm just showing you guys it being used as the, for the Nintendo Switch right now. But it definitely is a PC monitor. Now, another cool thing is the actual size is just super big. It, it is definitely very long. It's 40 inches, guys. This is a big monitor, which is really nice to have. Now, there is a full on, you know, uh, menu of uh, buttons that you can get into the menu to adjust all kinds of stuff if you really need. I didn't go through that right here because I just wanted to showcase this. I do hopefully plan on hooking this up as my main monitor in the future once I get an actual clamp on style desk uh, stand for this monitor uh, because you know you have to actually get a monitor stand that actually fits this. Now, most people might actually have the space on their desk for the stand that it comes with, so you may not run into the problem I have. But the problem I have is I have cameras, I have uh, light panels, I have, you know, microphones all around. So I have less space for the actual big square stand. Now, another thing is, remember guys, this weighs over 30 pounds, so it's not a light monitor. So just remember that, guys, but a very, very, very nice monitor nonetheless. Guys, Anison, I'm telling you, keep your eyes on them because it's actually a very, very cool product. And it's like $5.99. Not a bad deal for a 40-inch monitor, especially at like 3440 by 1440p and one millisecond and over 100, 100 hertz. I believe it's like 100 and, uh, what is it, 144 or 164. It is a 144 hertz monitor. So, yes, it is definitely a gaming monitor for you. Now, the next product up, of course, is another Innocent product. This is their 15.6-inch OLED. Now, this thing is so bright, it's crazy. This is just a little mini monitor, guys, that you can be used for your, uh, your consoles or your phones or your second monitor on your PC. This is just a really great option. Now, I'm showing you guys this, of course, because I still have this, and this is a great monitor. James here. Today, we're taking a quick hey, look. It's James here again. Um, this is their 15.6 inch portable monitor. Now this is an OLED. This is a thousand or a hundred thousand to one contrast ratio, guys. It does Life's do one texting. millisecond um, plus 60 hertz, guys. It's gonna be super bright, nice and colorful at a 1080p at a hundred thousand to one contrast ratio, which is great. Now the 60 hertz is also great. Now, guys, inside here you have the 15.6 inch monitor plus the cords plus, I believe, uh, actual monitor stand slash carrying case. I'm going to show you guys that. Now, it will have the mini HDMI cable to HDMI and it should have the USB-C or USB to USB-C. So let's pop it open and kind of give you guys your first look. And as you guys see, we have this first box that we're greeted with and we'll pop this open. I apologize, everybody. I'm so not trying to ignore box. anybody, but my wife texts and it's quite important. Now, of course, we're going to have to fight this slightly. Okay, cool. Yes, like I thought. So inside this box, I'm going to set the other box start. Right here is actually the case for this. This is kind of cool. Now, we'll kind of show you guys this. So they actually give you a nice little shell case right here, right? So inside this, this is where you'll actually slip in your monitor. And it's a soft shell, right? You slip the monitor in here, then you have this thing that actually can yeah. convert into... I'm going to honestly admit to you guys with this, this monitor, that uh, 
case or stand kind of threw me through a loop because this one actually folds in so many different directions that you have to figure out the right position to fold it in to use it as the stand. Now, if you guys are just using it as like a protected case, go for it. Uh, just remember that you will have to figure out the order. And I'm going to jump forward because literally, like I said, I was fighting. And underneath should be all the cabling right there. And I don't think there's And you're going to see that in a few minutes once we hook it under up. Under there. So we're going to actually set the box inside. So inside here should be all of our cables that we need, including the power cable. And it is. So we have the power standard power brick, guys, with the USB-C cable. Then you have your USB-C to USB-C to power this, which is cool. And then we have another USB-C to USB-C. So we actually have two USB-C to USB-C cables. That's really cool. So what that means is you guys can like plug in your Nintendo Switch or your phones into this and actually use this as a, a screen. Then you have your HDMI to mini to HDMI, mini which HDMI. this has. And that is all that's in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change views, guys. We're going to let you guys see this up close a little better. So if you guys give me a second, we'll change views. Okay, I brought you guys in a little closer. Of course, here's your standard power brick like I showed you, plus the cables, guys. Let's bring the monitor over. As you guys see, super thin. On this one side, you'll have your... Now, guys, this really is a really thin monitor. Just remember that. Uh, thank you for the follow. And good morning, Allie. And uh, just so you guys know, I am doing a giveaway today. This will be your volume up and down. The other side will actually have your hey, speakers. Which is just right here, guys. Just a simple little Because I haven't given enough stuff away this week, right? So let's actually peel this. Wow. I was not expecting that to snap like that. And I can already say I'm quite impressed with this, guys. But it does have a large bezel down at the bottom. Uh, not, you know, it's just a bezel, though. I'd have loved it bezel -less. That would have been cool. It actually would have made this bigger. But not bad. <laughs> so on top here, here's actually your power button right there. And that is on the same side with your volume up and down and your menu controls, which is nice. Actually, we'll spin this over, let you guys see the back. Nicely done. Not bad coloration. So this is the actual case that Get they on. give you guys. This is kind I didn't of win cool anything. You this case. You guys make Sad. sure you slide it into the proper side, just like this. And you wait, I won you guys' friendship. That'll work. Safe. Volume control knob up. Pop it in. And let's just put this oh, in the actual and case. And whatever I caught. Caught something. And you guys see it just snaps in it's nice to actually have this case justin's busy now you actually have that poor boy got called into work hot. last night back here guys this actually folds up so what it does is is you can actually fold it up and make like a little stand however you want to stand right it up guys right so this is where so i was fighting this little up. case guys as the stand uh you guys may be able to figure it out a little uh, better than that guys but we're gonna move forward we're gonna actually connect this up show you guys okay, this that's... in action you guys see we have a game loaded here, of course. No, We're going to turn no, the volume no, no. for you guys real quick. Uh, Rome, hello. Hey, Eric. So that's volume all the way up, right? Let's go into play solo. Let's play a little gaming. Give you guys a quick little look at this, I'm right? really hoping I'm not coming down with something. Bright, I'm telling you guys, I don't impressive. feel good. <laughs> Being awake, I'm always awake. It might take a I get few up at 4 o'clock every day. Of course, since I probably haven't played it in a while. So we're now oh, it's definitely now not prime day. Use, I'm going to dim some lights. Prime day's this. over. Yeah, the after prime crash on. <laughs> so guys, I have the lights off around here. Let's play some gaming. Let's go out. Let's do nighttime. You guys will see the coloration. The coloration is actually really, really good. Not I even kidding. Not hate the coloration this, this little 15.6 15, 15 inch monitor guys, is one of the brightest I've ever touched. Just really actually super bright. The OLED is just amazing. <laughs> what do I do at 4 o'clock in the morning? I uh, do videos. <laughs> it's not super loud, but guys, you can always add I another work. sound system to this or something, right? You know what, let's go into the city, right? You guys want to see some colorations? So guys, a nice little bright little monitor if you guys need it. And of course, it's definitely one to add in. Trying to die. Dude, I've blown through so much cash, it's stupid. I have to put more out in my car. 
Next product up is from Donor or Donner. Guys, this is their actual portable karaoke machine. Uh, I'm going to kind of show the video, but kind of talk about it instead. Uh, we're just going to hop forward, right? So this thing has two microphones, has a sound uh, voice act or sound effects, voice effects, uh, you know, 30 watts of power. LED lighting, you have the top lighting that looks like a disco ball or the sky. Then you have a ring light around the speaker, which is kind of cool. Then you have two microphones, guys. Plus, it's Bluetooth acceptable. You can connect the Bluetooth in. I think this is where I'm actually bugging my wife. You know Let's, go. Let's go back and again. show you guys the sound Different effects. Different patterns. That's actually cool, the swirling pattern. I didn't win nothing. So, simple, easy. We're going to leave it there. We're going to grab That's one how of we're these going. We're, we didn't win nothing. We're going to plug one of them in. Once we're in, we'll turn it on and hopefully it'll start working. But then lighting shut down, of course, guys. Not a big deal, but... Oh, no! If we turn the lights okay. back on... I'll explain that in a second, Eric. Now, the mic volume. Come up, bring up, and now you guys are going to start hearing the microphone working. Now, the cool part about this I is there is voice effects. I that only takes me 10 minutes to make those. You just have to watch them for 30. Grab a different signal. Robot. Robot. Female. Hey, Wayne. Wow, this is just So guys, the Donner works really great. It's a very cool karaoke machine. You can pair your phone up to it. You can pair anything that's Bluetooth. And then you actually sing your words and have fun with it. Guys, an awesome little thing. Now, Eric, your question is about the, the, the mystery boxes. So, that pool was technically only for Prime Day. We had a budget set up that we set up to give away during Prime Day, which we blew past. We blew past the budget and then some. <laughs> but we were just wondering what people really wanted for Prime Day, and we wanted to know if they wanted just cash cards, they wanted uh, actual product, or if they wanted mystery product, which would have been products that we knew what it was, uh, but you didn't know, and we would just ship it to you, and you would have to tell us later. So that's what that was all about. So as far for going forth forward, yes, we're still doing our mystery boxes. I'm sure he'll be doing one Sunday. He'll be doing a mystery box plus some gift cards. Uh, I'm doing a gift card today. Uh, I will do a mystery box probably in the next few weeks, uh, you know, no, those aren't going away. So we love mystery boxes. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. I knew he'd pop in and chime with that one. Mystery boxes are not going away. So that poll truly was just for Prime Day. We, you know, we just want to know what people wanted for Prime Day. So we did what the people asked for. They won, and we did it. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and listen to this all day. So guys, great little Donner. Guys, product, definitely nice little karaoke machine. I highly recommend it. Maybe you guys have some kids and you want to keep them entertained. This would do that. And the lighting, guys, of course, I don't... In this video, I had to do it without my blackout curtains, which I didn't like. I don't like not having my blackout curtains because it affects the way I record. But... You know, I had to push the video out, so you got the video. The lighting is actually a lot brighter in dark settings or darker settings than this. <laughs> Something like that. Something. Oh, we have the under-counter refrigerator. I believe Nate did this video. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I'm super excited to showcase to you this Ice Jungle Under Counter Indoor Outdoor Fridge. This thing is made very, very well. As you guys can see right here, it is all stainless steel, and on the handles, it has this really nice brushed stainless steel look on it, and everything about this thing just feels very, very very well made as you guys can see right here i'm gonna go ahead and walk up next to this this thing is actually a lot bigger than it might have seemed on the videos you guys can see it's about hip height on me and it's almost arm's length 
as wide as it is. And honestly, this thing just fits so many drinks. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the things that this thing has to like offer. And one of the unfortunate things is while I was moving this, I did dent this corner right here. So definitely have help when you're moving this. This thing is not light by any means at all. So definitely just get some help when you're moving it. So taking a look at the bottom tray right here, you guys could see I was able to fit in all of these water bottles and still had tons of room to continue putting more and more drinks in there oh, well, or whatever else. We'll go ahead and take a look at the top shelf right oh. here. And you guys can see that I have some Gatorades and some Cokes in here. And the cool thing about with the 12 ounce cans is you're able to stack these if need be. And I have the Gatorades in here and I still had a ton of more room to put more drinks or whatever I needed in there so we can go ahead and continue on and showcase to you guys some of the other awesome features that they have such as this little divider and what's really nice about these is they do send two of them for both individual trays and this just basically allows you to I separate like drinks out up. however you see fit so it's really nice that they added that it's not necessarily it something that side. i would think that you need but now that <laughs> i've had it in there for a while it is very handy just being able to separate drinks and these separators are honestly very well made they are just well, as well just made flash. as the rest of the unit. They slide very, very well, and they just feel very solid, which is just a good nod to Ice Jungle's production quality when it came to making this. Now, the cool thing about this is this fridge does have controls on the, the inside, Ice so you Jungle. can turn on and off the light if you want to. You have a power button over here, and the temperature on this goes all the way up to 68 degrees as you guys can see right here i'm just going to go ahead and keep tapping it so oh, having this oh, have the ability to go all the way degrees. up to 68 is really awesome and then if you guys want super cold possibly even frozen it goes all the way down to 32 degrees and this thing does a very good job of holding temperature too so when you set it first of all okay, it doesn't take that long to get to temperature at all and it just makes your drinks icy cold so if you guys need a refrigerator that can get to various temps, this is definitely the one for you. It's super easy to set wow, with that digital display. Lot. And as you guys can see right here, when I pulled this water out, it is condensating. But honestly, I want to show you my favorite thing about this, and it is the nightlight feature. So in the middle of the night, if you wake up thirsty like I do often, you can just open this thing up and you guys can see right there. It is very well illuminated, so you guys can see in the Now the cool thing about this, guys, you could actually use this. Let's say you have a backyard barbecue or a backyard like counter that you want to put a fridge in. This would work for that too, to hold your like little meats while you're grilling or something. It's a great little object. I, you know, this is one of those things that, you know, would come in handy for a lot of stuff, not just for in the house. You know, as you guys see, he has it out in the open. It's definitely for under the counter or in the counter guys, which would work great. Like I said, if you have like an outside uh, kitchen grill, this would work great to have counteract with that or, you know, Maybe you guys want to have a lot of drinks outside while everybody's swimming in the pool. Let's give you that also instead of having a big ice chest. So that is the Ice Jungle Under the Counter Portable Fridge. Uh, they do call it portable. I, you know, it's a little big, so hey. Now the next product up is actually something I did. This is from Ibeki. This is their chef knife, guys. Uh, you guys can go ahead and make fun of me. I'm sure Nate was making fun of me last night with this one. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Ibeki. This is their Kwame Series Chef's Knife. Now, this chef knife is an 8-inch chef knife, but it also comes with a kitchen shear. Now, guys, this is made out of 51C 51, uh, 51, uh, Japanese steel, high carbon, guys, with a 14-degree sharpen which is actually very cool. Now, if we flip the box open, you guys yeah, are going to see this. Hey, things. They have their design right here of the actual chef knife itself, the kitchen shears, then attention with cleaning and attention to uh, handling and stuff like that. Guys, remember, oh, do yeah, not I see you, man. set these in your dishwasher, hand wash them. For now, um, if you have tell, a sharp steel, switches. take a couple swipes at a certain degree and keep sure they are nice and sharp. Also, a little warranty if you need there on that paper. Not a big deal. They do show a 60-year warranty, which is actually... Yeah, I was blown away with the 60-year warranty, warranty on this, guys. Then you have your first close-up of the kitchen shears. And we'll show you the shears first, right? Standard rubberized with nice steel shears. Uh, back here, you have, like, your bottle grip opener. If you guys need to open up, like, jars, that's what that's truly for. Pop it around and try to pop Cracking it. Cracking lobster. Then you have a nice shear. And actually, they feel Your really New great England in hand, lobster. guys. I have no problems with that. And you know what? What do we got to cut with it? 
I mean, we guess we could try this little foam, right? Ooh, it's gonna hurt. And since they are like a kitchen shear, guys, it makes, wow, those are sharp. Very simple, very easy, guys. You can pretty much kitchen shear or utility shear. Use them for whatever you really need with yeah. the shears. Then you have- Put the your wife's clothes up with it and get her really fact. mad. You know, whatever the you knife, want to do. Guys, the nice knife is super sharp. And you guys see this nice steel, nice design. Uh, the Paca wood handle, you have the full tank through, and then you have the steel itself. Nice, actually, uh, nice looking. I mean, look at that logo. Guys, nice. And then, of course, they do have the, the, the guard on here. We're going to take that off. Next up, guys, we're going to actually grab a chopping board, and we're going to try chopping some oh, yeah. stuff with this and see how sh sharp it really is. We're going to make really a fool of myself. Guys, give me a second. Grab a I used whatever I had in the okay, house that day. see, we got a couple of jalapenos and onion. Let's see what it can do. We're going to set the onion. Funny part is my wife said I should have used uh, potatoes just to get on so I could be Nate. Onion aside, we're going to grab one jalapeno. And, of course, I'm just going to try to grab some edges without seeds because I cannot eat seeds in my diet. Guys, that is nice and sharp. It actually is super sharp. Now we're gonna throw that aside. Remember guys, don't handle it too much. Don't rub your eyes. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, don't be me. Don't rub your you eyes after handling Julian. peppers. And I'm not too worried about the cut shape right now, guys. This is just for cooking later. So we're just testing this out, right? So. Yeah, steak bombs. We don't need. And we have a red onion, of course, right here. Pull that down. Grab the first layer. Peel it off, because I don't need that first layer. And we'll set it aside and leave it for somebody else to pick up, right? So, onions, guys. This guys, knife. it really is a nice, super sharp knife. If you guys need a chef's knife, and actually very decently priced, like twenty nine dollars plus you get a sixty year warranty. That's just uh, commonly unheard of to have a sixty year warranty on a product that's that price. So very cool, nice little item. Now coming up, we're gonna be moving over. We're gonna switch scenes. We're gonna pop over here, guys. We actually have a little uh, spy hidden cam, guys. This is from Everson. Uh, if I pronounce that right, I apologize if not. So, little spy camera, right, guys? A little 4K camera. Uh, if you want to call it a spy camera, pretty much you're going to see it. It's not that small. But this is 4K UHD Wi-Fi. Uh, it does have a microphone. You will hear it. It is battery-operated, guys, so you do need to charge it. You get about out eight hours uh, in standby mode. So as it's triggered, you get about eight hours of usage. It is a 1400 milliamp battery, uh, you know, tiny little camera. Hey, Mike, let's pop this out. So here is the camera size itself, and I dropped something. So the camera size, nice little one inch square, right? All the way simple around. You have the camera lens, the little lighting, or whatever you want to call it there. On the back, you have your USB, and you have your on and off, and then you have your reset button which is cool to have now i'm gonna try and put this back on not sure why it popped off and then the bottom you have the your micro sd card slot then you have the kit over here in the kit you have some more pro products and we're gonna grab some of this first you have a metal usb to micro usb little charging cable or dongle uh, it's kind of cool to have that. It's actually metal, guys. That is metal, so do not worry about that getting cut. Then you have a separate one, and this one's just a normal standard USB to USB, non, but longer. That's for you connecting it up to your computers and stuff like that. Then you have 
Stream adhesive little stand, guys. Since it is magnetic, this camera will mount to this, right? So, literally stick it right to the magnet, just like that. You're good to go. Three adhesive to the wall. Or if you don't want to use the three adhesive, there is a slight little screw hole under there, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. You could screw to the wall or mount it. But the magnetic part is cool to have that option. Stick it to a wall, stick it anywhere, hide it up in a corner, point it at wherever you want as long as it's accessible. Again, it is 4K, does have night vision, does have motion detection, has surveillance mode, guys. It is Wi-Fi, so they do have an app. Connect the app up and you can watch it from your phone. They do give you a second little uh, strip right here, guys, if you need it to add to the kit. So with all of that, you can control it, you can watch it, you can check it, you can record to your phone also if you need with that app. Uh, you know, just very cool, nice little mini little thing. Guys, it just the size, the size is crazy. You put that up against one of my bigger ones, of course this is way smaller. Nice little product, guys, Eversync uh, 4K little mini camera. So any questions about that, I'll try and answer. Uh, like I said, we're just live unboxing that right now. And steel pad come off. Put it all back in the box. I kind of like that they give you this little cord. That's cool. It's steel braided. That's, that's something I've never seen before. Steel braided little cord. So you can't cut it, but you can unplug it. Uh-oh. What row? I dropped something. Do, 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 do. No questions about that, huh? I see how it is, guys. See how it is. All right. Remember, guys, we have a giveaway going on. So, we had that product. Then we have it another product coming up now this is another live unboxing guys so bear with me hopefully i can do justice of this air purifier guys this is uh jafonda this is their air purifier this is an h13 true hepa filter air purifier this is, will do about 99.9 percent .9 of all dust allergies dander smoke pollen and everything in there guys this is in black also available in white uh you know Good for small rooms, probably about you know, 300 square feet is my guess. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. We'll refresh the air in your uh, in your place about three times in about you know an hour. I want to say. Uh, let me open this up without hurting myself. Well. Can we just cut the box open this way instead? Put the blade away. Guys, like I said, so it is comes in black and white. This is the black version. We'll do about 215 uh, square feet. So a small room. First cup is the charging cable right here. Standard power brick, guys. Just standard power brick. Nothing special there. But at least they gave it to you, right? And I'm going to make a mess. Pop it down. I have stuff falling on me. Throw the box aside. User manual. If you guys need the user manual, you probably shouldn't need it. Dire phone. already like this so it's kind of cool so nice round with their logo i like that they have their logo right on front nice sleek design round on top you have your digital button display on the bottom you'll actually twist this pop this open and inside here is where your filter will be inside is also where you have your uh lower style fan set that down grab the filter 
you have your standard three stage filter guys right just standard you have the outer filter inner filter and then you have the inner plus you have the rubber seal rubble seal sits right in the bottom just put this back in there just like that grab the bottom pop it in twist it you're locked in place now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab an extension cord so if you guys give me a second we're actually going to plug this in and power it up real quick Do, do, do. Uh oh. Now, guys, this is actually nice looking. I'm liking this. First, let's find. All right, so the plug is right down here, guys. That is just a little hidden plug. I was not expecting that. Way down there. Plug it right on in, you're good to go. Then you have the screen. We'll actually peel off the plaque off the screen. And then we will hit the power. A power button lights up, guys, and look at all that. You have your child lock, you have your nighttime mode, you have your fan modes, you have your timer, you have uh power, and I believe indication, but let's turn this on. So three stage fans, as you guys see, it actually marks three stages, just like that. We have night light. I was not. That's cool. So the night light is underneath, guys. Check that out. And it steps in stages of night light. That's cool too. So then you have your filter change. It'll tell you when the filter needs changed uh, or cleaned. You have your night mode, hit night mode, turn it on, hit timer. You have two hour, four hour, six or eight hour. So two, four and eight hour timer. Then child lock, you just hold it down and it locks into place, right? That's pretty cool. So guys, a very nice little elegant. Uh, Air purifier if you need one, guys, from the Jafonda. Jafonda. Yeah. Nice little product. Yeah. So I have the big one back here. I don't know if you guys see the big one back here on the ground. The big one back here is way different. It actually has a huge LED strip down at the bottom. You guys can see it flashing red colors now but that one is big and bright down at the bottom so i kind of like the little one with how it's the the light changes in steps so actually really cool now the cool thing also about this is it's like 69 dollars right now but there's also a 20 dollars clippable coupon so you're just paying like 30 something dollars really just a phenomenal price cool product I will be getting a full video out of that later, some point for you guys. Oh, let's see what else is up. But yeah, for, you know, 200 and something square foot uh, room to do three times an hour, that's not bad and actually pretty cool. So they call the lighting three-step. It's a sleep light, night light, and the nursery light. So the nursery light is going to be a little brighter than the, the night light version or, you know, so on. But very cool. What do we have next up on the list? Oh, it's a projector. What a projector. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen this projector for me already. This is the Fal Faltopu or Faltupu uh, 1080p 5G Wi Fi Bluetooth projector, guys. This is actually 9500L. It also has a 120 inch screen included. It is 300 ANSI brightness, guys. So 300 ANSI brightness, which is actually pretty uh, pretty bright, guys. It is 9500 luminous. So if you guys want a different specter of the brightness, it does have that. Inside here, guys, like literally is Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi. So you have the 5G Wi-Fi plus you have the Bluetooth. You have the 120 inch screen. I'm not gonna pull this out. It's just a foldable 120 inch screen. 
does come with all the wall clips that you need, and it does have the big one-inch round sewn-in metal uh, rings, so it is very stable to actually use that way. Then you have the power cord. It does come with HDMI cords. If you need the HDMI cords, it does have that also. But the cool part about this is size. It really is. It's not that big. This is it. This is the projector. It's just small. On the bottom, guys, you can put the tripod, screw the tripod in if you need. You definitely can do that. If you need to adjust the angle of the way it's sitting, just move the little footprint down and it will adjust it up and down just like that. The front, this is where you'll see your lens. Now the lens is covered, of course. Now to get the lens off, you just, you know, pop it out a little, grab it, and it's out. It has a lens cover. Make sure you pull the cover off. You have your focus right here and your, your keystone. So that is where you'll adjust the keystone and focus. Then you have all your control buttons right there. Power, uh, volume, I believe, uh, control up and down, return to home, uh, Bluetooth connection. Then you have your single little speaker in the back. So very simple, very easy. Then you have your power on the side, just a standard plug. Uh, if you guys know box fans, that's pretty much the same, same plug as a box fan, all right? But don't use a box fan. Then you have two HDMI ports, one USB. Then you have your 3.5 plus your, I believe it's audio visual, and then a micro SD or an SD card, not micro, SD. So you have all the slots, all the expansions. This is an LED style. It is very bright. I will be doing a full video of this uh, within the week. Not even kidding. So I actually had planned to do this this weekend. I'm going to pop out the big screen. I'm going to connect it up. We're going to see what it can do. We'll probably connect up the you know Nintendo Switch or uh, some other stuff and play with this. Nice little projector. And I love that they give you the 120 inch screen. If you guys don't have your own screen, they give this to you. You can put this in your backyard, uh, use it in the backyard, use it on any wall. Um, if you guys don't know, they actually make a paintable uh, screen paint. So there is some paint out there that you can use to paint your wall uh, super white. For projectors so they actually make a paint for that also um, I've been studying up on some different options for my house for like screens and I've seen they have paint so I do know they have paint options out there you can do that also <laughs> I see you over there Ali checking out your points oh we have the next product up guys it's from Rai this is something that you guys have probably already seen me showcase a couple times. Um, I did start doing some testing, put it back in the box. I was not happy with what I was doing. And that's because I was so busy, I didn't have time to set it up properly. Uh, I did have it conflicting with other stuff in my house. And that's because I had uh, my modem and my other router still hooked up. So I actually have to take my other one down to use this. Now, guys, this is the Rye. RGE5, this is a Wi-Fi 6, 3200 M dual band gigabyte mesh router. What does that mean? Well, dual get, dual dual signal, so you have 2.4 and you have 5 gig. So you have those, the standard on most of them nowadays, but you have it. Now, one thing I will tell you about that is, is guys, make sure that you set up your separate password and separate login so they don't conflict with each other. Now, they do have an app, so you will need the app to do all that, guys. So remember that. Then you have the router. I'm not even, I won't show you the power plug. It's just a standard power plug. But I will show you they do give you a flat wound RJ45 to connect it. Now, that cable will come in handy because you will need to connect it to your modem. Remember, guys, you will need a modem, so you'll have to have your uh, internet ISP's provider's modem. Then you have this bad boy. This is what it looks like all flat. This is your mesh button. This will actually let you pair up their little uh, mesh system if you want to extend it out throughout the house. They say this is good for homes up to 3,000 square feet alone without the mesh. It has eight omnidirectional uh, antennas, guys, and these antennas are like this. This thing's going to turn into the little board cube just like this. Uh, the Borger here, the aliens are here. I'm not even kidding. 
There are all your antennas. This thing looks like the board cube all of a sudden. On the back is where you'll have your reset button, your power plug, your four lanes, and then your wane. Now your wane, your wane is what the cable is that you're gonna connect this to, to your modem. This is what's gonna get the internet into this device. Then your lanes are what you're gonna send outwards. So you do have four plugs, lanes to hardwire a uh, few items if you need. This thing is a beast of a little uh, router. Now I'm hoping I can get into full testing this week. You know, we've been busy, really busy. Life uh, hit me a curveball, <laughs> so I haven't been able to do full testing yet. Any questions about this, guys, please ask. I will try and answer as I can, but I'm telling you, this is awesome. It's gonna be a nice little product. Wait, hell, you guys are quiet today. Everybody's fired. What do we have up next? Oh, we have an Xbox Series X wall mount. That is something I have not done yet. So if you guys are looking for one of these, we have one. Let's talk about it. All right? Let's do this. Guys, this is from General, General Fant Fantasy. This is the JYS uh, Xbox wall mount, guys. This thing is a cool little product. It helps you get your Xbox Series X mounted up on the wall and off a counter. Now, it does come with a uh, headset hanger built in. It does come with four screws, four connectors, uh, four other uh, pieces, the screwdriver, and all of the mounting hardware. Simple little box right here, guys, right? And very cool little item to do. Pop this open and show you guys this. So like I said, it comes with one screwdriver, of course, just a simple little screwdriver. I probably won't use that. Your get starting uh, instructions, of course, to show you guys how to trace the holes on the wall, where you want to mount it and all of that. Then you have your screw screws and your plugs. Now pretty much you're gonna drill a hole in the wall. You're gonna push this plug into the wall where you drill your holes unless you have a wood beam i have wood beams so we may put it in the wood beams then it comes with grab these screws your screws standard screws right uh, a couple little wing nuts and a little plug pop that out you have your headphone hanger guys this little headphone hanger will clip over your Xbox and allow you to actually hang your headset from it if you need that. Then you have the kit itself. And this is what you'll have to put together. So the kit is dual brackets, right? You have two brackets. These brackets will have to be put together to actually mount up and it'll probably go a little something like that. And then you slide your Xbox in and you're good to go. Now, well, you will have to screw this together, of course, right? And that's where the actual instructions will come in handy, telling you how to mount it together. So let's see here. Take three of the screws and mount the screws. So why not? You guys want to see this done? Let's do this. See if I can do this without making too much of a mess. Make sure I got the right ones. Righty. So the screws intended for this are the small ones. Now I'm going to grab all these. I'm going to show you guys this. And hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. So you have the mini little screws just like this, guys. Little Phillips screws. And you have little nuts now those are what you're going to use to mount this in just like this since i plan on putting this together slide that together just like this right grab a screw pair it up with the hole and now guys bear with me because i am doing this without looking now i'm gonna have to look And we're going to try to ignore the kid that's walking out weird-like. 
once the screw's in, guys, grab the little nut, try to set it on, right? If it'll let me. Wow. She had tight fit, guys. Tight. Let me know what happened. Let's grab a different screw, feed it in the other hole. That one might work. That works, guys. We're going to do all three of these real quick. All right, we're doing two. We dropped one. So just like that, guys, mount it up, you're connected, then you screw it into the wall with these four holes you will trace and you mount the Xbox. So a simple little kit, guys, just takes a little bit to put together. Uh, again, if you need one for the Xbox, you have your options. Now, since I just dropped some pieces, I'm going to play a video and pick up a couple screws. So any questions about the Xbox Series X, please ask. I will try to answer. If not, we're going to swap over here. We're going to grab the next video up. And this is the 5-in-1, uh, I believe, from Momax. It is. Pop over. and grab that. Hey, guys. Grab Bradley here. And today we have the Momax Airbox. It is a 10,000 milliamp per hour wireless charging power bank. Made for Apple products, the Airbox will wirelessly charge the Apple hey, first that generation to the 5 series. The AirPods, AirPod Pros, Apple Pencil 2, and wirelessly fast charge iPhones that are QI compatible. Now as we open up the box, you can see center of creation. In there we have a quick start guide. Found pieces. And it looks like a carrying case. All white. So guys, we, we are doing a giveaway. Charger. If you want to enter. Oh, it's getting in hot in the box, house. There is the charging cable. USB-A <laughs> to USB-C. Now let's take a little closer look at the airbox. The power bank has an all-white gloss with Momax on the top. On the front, there's a power button, LED lights, and a USB-C port for charging. On the underside, there's specs and a lightning symbol that show you can wirelessly charge the airbox. So as we open it up, we have the airbox logo at the bottom. The lightning symbol at the top shows the fast charge for the phones. This is the dock for the Apple Watch. And then you have the indention for the pin, the AirPod, and the AirPod Pro. Wow. That's kind of cool. So let's turn it on. The green light on the left shows that it's fast charge ready. The two lights next to that show that something is charging. The four lights on the right show your battery level. So let's go ahead and turn it on again and toss some stuff on it to charge. So AirPods fit right in here. And as you can see, the blinking light at the bottom showed that it's charging. Then fast charge phone turns that second light on. And Apple Watch magnets onto the dock. Just get a better look at the lights flashing, indicating the charge and the battery life. I like that watch band. It's kind of cool. The AirBox will also act as a charging carrying case for the Apple Pen, AirPods, and AirPod Pros. With the case closed, the lights still showing the AirPods are being charged. 
Then once they're taken out, the light stops, indicating nothing is being charged. That's all for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Cool little product from Momax, guys. The Airbox 5-in-1 wireless charging station. Actually, really, really cool. Now we're going to be moving over to the Gwitty ceiling fan. And I know I pronounced that wrong, and I apologize already. We're going to let this person... Hey guys, Bradley here with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today we have the Goody ceiling fan with built-in oh, LEDs right. and six fan speed settings. There's the owner's manual. And in this bag, there's a box with the remote for the fan. Batteries are included in this, so you don't have to worry about going and buying some or using some that you have around the house. We'll take a closer look at that remote here in a little bit. I like chasing down also batteries. In the bag, it has wood screws and anchors, along with expansion screws for if you have concrete ceilings. The fan is 20 inches in diameter, so it would work well in small bedrooms, offices, hallways, or any smaller room that you would want lighting and airflow in. The fan That's body different. is white with gold accents, and the fan blades are clear, so it gives a bladeless appearance when turned on. So let's take a closer look at the remote. We have our light on and off, everything off, forward and reverse rotation, one to six fan speeds. Now, if you Your guys fan... don't know what the forward and reverse rotation is for, uh, it's definitely for different seasons. Like if you want forward, I, I believe forward pushes the air down, reverse sucks the air up. So if you want the hot air during winter to blow downwards, you hit it one direction. If you want it the opposite way, uh, during uh, you know summer or whatever however you, uh, it wants to go that's what that's for and off in your pair code button which if your remote and fan aren't connected you can hold that down to get them to pair on the left we have our brightness up and down color temperature color switch and sleep mode natural wind mode a two hour timer and the nightlight button so it does have a j-hook right up here in the bracket in a looped wire so that you can loop that wire on that J hook and it'll hold the fan body up for you so you can do all the wiring and everything that you need to That's do for cool. installation without having to hold the fan body up. I like that a lot. It's very useful. That's a nice option. Now that the fan's installed, let's go ahead and rotate the fan forward, which is going to push air down on you whereas reverse is going to push air back up. Now, as we hit the reverse button, the fan comes to a dead stop, and then once it registers it's stopped, it'll switch and rotate the opposite direction. Then we can go ahead and turn on the lights. That's and pretty as you can see, we are dimming the lights down. Then we can brighten it back up and change the color from warm white to the bright cool white. Wow. As you can see, it gets very bright. So we'll click the sleep mode button and it'll auto dim. And then whenever we click it again, it'll go back. Now let's That's turn the cool. lights off and turn on the night lights, which can be set from warm white, then off, then blue, Whoa. then off. Hey, go back to the blue, sir. And then off one more time. Uh, that's cool little product. I actually like that. He did a great video with that one. Now we're going to be moving over to the aquarium pump. And grab this one. We have here an aquarium oxygen pump by Chaining. Pretty simple packaging. Doesn't really say much. Looks like we're the model CN905W. Like that one says it's 240 volts, 3 watts, 6 liters a minute. Looks like uh, quite a bit of uh, airline tubing. It's the kind I, I like. It's really flexible. You don't have to worry about getting any kinks out of it. It unrolls nicely. Uh, user's manual. Uh, 
like we got two massive air stones. Suction cups. From suction cups to mount it. And we also have air filters. Two of no. these check locks. If you don't know what a check lock is on this, it uh, allows air to go through one way. Not reverse. And it won't siphon water back if you use the loose power. Those are very important to have if your air pump is above your aquarium. Actually, I correct that. Below your aquarium. Yeah, you don't want the water to siphon back through. Here's the pump itself. It's a nice color blue. We have two ports. Well, guys are power quiet and a today. Minus. We got a plug in. Adjustable airflow right here. Looks like it's a pretty easy touch. It's a good amount of air comes out of these. <laughs> yeah. Sitting on a hard Something table. like that. It's not. Everybody's contemplating how much money they spent over the last few days, I'm sure. Power on and off. <laughs> I'll hold it for three seconds to turn it on, and three seconds to turn it off. Pretty simple. Let's get this put in an aquarium and see how she does. I didn't spend anything. And we are back. Not a time. I currently have it stuck my in money was already spent before the day happened. Tanks. I'm going to turn this on. That, that is a lot of air. Quite a bit of air out of this one pump. Just the two stones in the back are running off this air pump. The other air bubbles you see is on a different pump. And this is on the lowest setting. There's low. There's one more up. Wow. There's two up. And that is max. It's a lot of air for a fish tank. That's actually nice. If anybody's looking for a lot of air, this thing sure pumps it out. Guys, that thing puts out a lot of air and it's actually very decently priced. Oh, we're going to be looking at the Donner 39-inch electric guitar. This is actually a really cool video right here. Hi, my name is Michael Clark. I play in a band and called And thank Magical you, Michael, Lodge, for doing this video. I also stream under the... I'm not musical. ...the moniker Valhallen3 on Twitch. And I'm here today to review this Donner electric guitar. It's uh, styled like a Stratocaster from Fender. Well, it's I'm not exactly it. on... on spot on with one but you know there's a lot of companies that do Stratocaster ready. remakes and this is a really nice one I'm, i've been really happy with it the, the color is really nice it's a little hard to see with my lighting here but it's like a nice dark green as well as it comes with a, a whammy yeah there was some here. stuff i really wanted but i didn't Sorry do it that. and um there's so many things that surprised me about this guitar it sounds great it's very comfortable to play I 
I really have no complaints about this guitar. That I would say the the thing that I don't like the most is just the tuners, but it's not not even that big a deal, and it's a very easy fix. And this guitar even comes with a little push pull pot to switch your humbucker here to a single coil pickup, like on command. And it comes with all sorts of tools. I mean, it comes with a, a carrying case. It also comes with a bunch of Allen wrenches to be able to fix your bridge and your truss rod in the neck. It's a very, a very good choice for a starter guitar that you're trying to get into an electric. Should I be worried there's packages so at my door? With a nice little uh, quarter inch cable here that is very nice for plugging into your, your amp with. And the electrical sounds, there's not much hum to it at all while you're playing it. It's a, it's a great guitar. I've been really enjoying it. Right, thanks, Mike, for that video. Uh, that is the Donner DST 400 electric guitar, guys. Actually, a nice little electric guitar if you need one. Uh, you know, nice beginner. And it actually sounds pretty good the way he played it. Yeah, I'd make it sound like, you know, we're not going to go there. We all know how bad I'd be. Let's do this. Let's see here. Uh. We have the Link Chance self-adhesive panels. Now, I believe Deer Power did this video for us. Hey guys, it's Deer. I'm gonna be showing off these awesome acoustic panels, so I'm super excited to share them with you today. We're gonna go ahead and unbox them here. I already have worked with these kinds of acoustic panels before, so I'm super excited. If you are someone who is starting off streaming or uh, recording your voice for any reason, be it singing, for voice work, voiceover work, anything like that, you need to get acoustic panels. So Maybe what I these are gonna do, these. they're gonna actually soundproof your room. Um, so these guys here, these are actually going to be a really nice quality of acoustic panels. Let me go ahead and take one off here. So as you can see, they're nice and firm, which you want that. So these are actually a polyester acoustic paneling. So these are actually made of a high density, finer polyester, which is really, really good because the finer the polyester, the better quality you're going to get. They also have many pore structures. So if you get really close in on it, I don't know if you'll be able to see them with the camera. They're actually going to be small pores that are in this um, high density polyester. So those pores are actually gonna be what helps to soundproof your room, okay? So this produces a better sound quality because of the better sound absorption. So how these work is so your sound is going to hit and in those pores, it's gonna absorb and limit that echo, reducing your reverb and preventing any like, sound bleed. So let's say you're like me and your office is literally on the other side of this wall because we're in my boyfriend's office right now. And let's say both of you are streaming at the exact same time and you both have a theater degree and you're both loud so you're gonna need these <laughs> so these are gonna be amazing to put on your wall i really like them especially because these are extremely firm they have the extra pore structures in them that not a lot of sound panelings offer so we're actually going to be replacing what my boyfriend has now on his wall so these are actually going to be what you'd see very you know basic egg crate sound paneling now do they give him some sound absorption absolutely they've got those pores but they're not going to be as um, re reflective as these are going to be. So this is not going to give you as good of a quality because you don't have that firmness. You, these aren't going to be a higher density polyester. They're going to be very standard. They're very squishy um, and they're not going to have as many pores to, to keep that sound. So also, I just like how it looks better. Yeah, and that's another thing about these. The hexagonal pattern is really, really nice. It also makes it easier to fill a space. <laughs> so when you're Instead trying of the to egg soundproof a room, you want to make sure yeah. all your sound panels are touching each other. That is going to increase how much sound you're actually going to keep in the room. Because anytime you have these little gaps, that's where sound bleed can happen. That's where echo can happen. Your, your voice will bounce off of the wall here. So these are really nice because they help fit in a, like, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle type way in your space and they also look a lot more cool these uh pack that we got here actually came with the two colors so you can get you can get all white if you wanted to they had blue they had orange they had a lot of different interesting colors we now, like she said guys there are, are other colors so if you black, need other colors they do have different colors too. versions so, of this another really good selling point of these specific sound panels that i really really like that i actually hadn't seen before these here was already this self nice back in here so these actually have the nice stick on backing so you don't have to buy your own command strips you don't have to worry about anything like that these come with it and they're nice and firm so you know that they're not going to go glue. so <laughs> we're going to go ahead those previous egg crate ones i have on the wall i had to yeah, buy like... an extra cardboard backing and then buy velcro and then stick the velcro and mm -hmm. then stick them to the cardboard backing and then stick them to the wall you literally just peeled that off i just peeled it right <laughs> off just peeled it right off so then all you're going to do 
So I've gotten his permission to go ahead and do this because he's going to be replacing him anyway. Mm -hmm. So you just place it on your wall, like so. Wall's a little taller than me. And voila! Yeah. That's nice. Nice and firm. It looks really classy. It makes the room... Now, one thing I will suggest, guys, always make sure you clean off this surface that you are actually going to be sticking to. Now, also, if there's moisture in the air, it could affect with the peel and stick at the time of sticking. So just make sure that you have your room nice and prepped when you're ready to peel these off, guys. These are actually very cool, and they do work very well. Uh, it really does help stop with the echo, the bleed through. I mean, if I had was not in a living room, I probably would be using a set. Now we're going to be moving over to the Chef Lee stand mixer. This is a six-speed mixer, guys. Actually, nice little mixer. Welcome, everyone. My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be going over this kitchen stand mixer made by Chef Lee. With this mixer, it came in a gloss gray look, and it's a six, like I said, 6.5 quart mixer, and it go, comes in six speeds, and it has a 660 watt tilt head on it. As you can see, that really shiny look. And then it came all packaged up really nice. You have the mixing bowl right there where you mix up all your cake, cooking, and all the stuff you need to be doing inside this mixer. And to lift this up right here, you just hold that down, which it has an arrow pointing to lift it up, and it'll just lock in place to stay up. Hey, and Margaret, then there's good morning. your mixing beater right there that you have which that's mainly the one that you'll use to mix stuff up with. And then you can also mix, like, gift mix card your eggs up Margaret, and stuff like so that for in the morning. You then you have your splash guard right there too. So another one will be flying out. And then it came with a bag also, as you can see, for storage. And so you want... Now with this mixer, guys, you do get the multiple heads. You get the dust shield or the shield. You also get suction cups on the bottom of the mixer. Now the cool thing is this does have a pulse mode or six speeds. At high speed, those suction cups are going to come in handy because the mixer is actually quite light. Now, I've actually had another version of this, and they work very, very well, guys. It's just one of the things, you know, if you need a mixer, this is actually a very nice price. Comes with all the stuff you need, including like a spatula, a measuring cup, and stuff like that, the paddle heads, and everything else. Great little mixer. This is from Chef Lee, 6.5 quart tilt head style stand mixer now we're going to be moving over to a product that i actually thought was really cool this is actually a vintage coffee table that actually opens up with cubby hole now i have not seen the video but i know this product and i've seen this product this is really cool hey everyone my name is demetrius and i'm going to be showing you guys today this vintage coffee table i love made the out a birch wood and is also a lifted top coffee table with a storage underneath and a hidden compartment it has a lot of stores, as you can see. I love on that. It. Turn it into it your has those springs table that will right spring that table chair. up to hold it. Uh, all around, it holds about 50 pounds on each compartment. And it is a really solid, heavy table, in my opinion. The dimensions on that is 24 inches of depth. And then you have 36 on the width. And you have those two handles right there that you will pull up to raise that lifted part. And also has four metal legs, which is really easy to set together and to set up it takes about 15 minutes or less to set this up really easy and the height on this is 18 inches but once you lift this up it's about 24 inches tall so you can set your laptop computer or even a printer on there also and also you can also or eat on plate. this table also with that being oh, said no problem, it was man. really easy to you know put hey, together like i said it has those three me. screws on the bottom which take the allen key that comes with an allen key and it also has that birch would look on it and in my opinion best looking coffee table around awesome product really sturdy and really yeah, solid are. piece i used to have one i loved that thing uh you know had multiple holes in it and then it had a slider inside then the top would come up the top would actually come up to i think it was like almost 30 inches high and it would lift it would come up and then you could slide it towards you even more it was just beautiful. And this thing's cool. It's perfect for like a little, you know, a little home or just, you know, somebody that doesn't want a super large one. But they are so awesome. I love the lifted coffee tables. I, you know, what did we do without them before? That's right. 
TV dinner trays. This takes care of that. Guys, and like $2.99, not a bad deal. I love the look of that one. Now we're going to be looking at the Greater Goods Cast Iron Skillet. Uh, cast Iron Skillet, guys, if you don't know what that is, I feel bad for you, son. This is a 10-inch preseason skillet, guys. What's up, guys? My name is Demetrius. Uh, Demetrius I'm going to be showing you guys too. this 10-inch right, cast iron skillet. It comes with a use and care guide of how to take care of it, make it live last a little bit longer. That's right. Um, a lot of people say that when you use this pan, a cast, like a cast iron pan, you don't put soap in it to clean it. Nope. You use uh, water and a sponge, which is a really good tip, uh, long-lasting. So with that, so it won't rust over if you use soap or anything like that. So, but this pan, it has that long handle, as you can see. Um, compared to the other skillets, they have the little short handle, maybe half the size. And then, you know, it's heavy, so your hand really can't fit around it, or your hand's really close to the pan. Uh, this pan has that pre-cooked surface on there, really smooth, as you can see. And then on the back side, it has, like, the brand name, Nourish, and then uh, the size of it, which is uh, 10 inches. Well, yeah, yeah, there you go. And it has another handle yeah. right there. Cheating so you husband to... If you are having <laughs> trouble holding it with that one handle, which it shouldn't be a big deal. So with this pan, it's really great to cook on, and it will and also... remember, guys, season it with bacon see, grease. This took me less than five minutes to cook. Just saying. Uh, heated up every single bacon like, grease part, seasoner. and the handle yeah, wasn't hopefully really you guys are at too. all. Um, really awesome product <laughs> and uh, greater good. Best way to do your blackstones skillet. too. I love it so far, so good, and I do highly recommend this to you guys. And again, my name is Demetrius, and thank you for watching. Guys, quick little simple: if you need a cast iron skillet, there you go. Now, like he said, guys, don't wash it with soap. Also, just wash it out with the scrub brush. Then always season your skillet. Oh, the two pack of Air Talk paraphernalia, or the maybe this isn't the Air Talk. I think the Air Talk. Is it? It is the Air Talks. I did this one. These were actually very cool. I'm going to talk about these guys. This is literally a two pack of air purifiers. Great for little bedrooms. And the cool thing is it does come with the scent pads. So it has these little like cotton pads that sit on top that you can actually put the scent or smells that you like, aromatherapies that you want, lavenders, cinnamon extracts, whatever you want. So when it's cleaning out the air from the bottom, it's pushing out that scent through the top. Now they do have LEDs. It does have timers. It has a child lock. It has everything. We're just going to jump forward and show you guys this. Simple little things, guys. And then the bottom, you have the dual stage filters, of course. And on the bottom, you will actually unscrew the bottom right here where I'm going to show you. And that is where your power cord is. So make sure to open it. Do not think that you're missing the power cord. Power cord is in the bottom right there with the filter. Simple, easy, guys. And then you have the filters, guys. You can clean these filters out with an air cleaner at some point or just buy new ones. Just make sure you know the size or, you know, look up the sizing and get new ones. They have plenty of these filters on the market. Now, I actually gave these to the neighbor. Uh, the neighbor uh, has a kid that has problems with major allergy problems. So I ended up giving them to them. They still use these and love them. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, ever since I did this video, these things are still working nonstop and have no issues. Plenty of air blown out, guys. You have the three-stage fan, you have the LED steps, everything. If you need them, guys, the this two-pack is the way to go. And it's like $109 for a dual pack. Perfect for a couple bedrooms. I'm telling you, great little product. Now, we're going to talk about the Amazon Basics Electric Scalp Massager. This is something that just, to me, is was weird. But I used it on my head, and it actually felt really good. I'll show you guys a little video of this. I don't know if it's a long one, but hey, we'll see. Take a quick well, look three at the video of scalp from massager. Amazon Basics, guys. This is their basic scalp massager. Now, this has four massaging modes that you can change from. It also has two massages. And Justin, speeds, if you're paying attention, I am still using my coasters rotation, to this day. Thank which you. Which is really cool. <laughs> now, it is rechargeable, so you have that also. I love the dragons. It. Now, let's pull it open and give you guys a quick look at this so you guys can see what it is and how it works, right? First things first, Fans you get a uh, huge manual. I'm not really sure. It's a yeah, lot I'm of warnings in the manual. Yeah, you know, there's warnings in there. Right, cool. I just now, realized some of my wife's decorations are not back on the line. And they probably could get caught in your hair. So just be careful with that. 
as you go. You also have a USB to USB-C charging cable, which is nice that it is USB-C. Now, the cool thing is, is it comes like this, but what you're seeing down at the bottom is actually the base, and that's what you plug in to charge it. Then you pull it up, and you have the device itself, and you guys see there is like a almost like a foam rubber pad. So that pad that is to stop there. the connection in there. And then you have four uh, interchange so four just heads shipping right it here, doesn't and touch believe. and stuff. These heads can come off to be cleaned. They can just pop right up, comes right out. Guys, you can clean them up if you need to clean them. Very cool. Two little metal prongs. That is your charging port. Pop this up right here, guys, to show you guys where the metal prongs connect. Very simple, very easy. Now using this on the top, I'm going to pull off the little plastic strip. You have your power button, right? Which yeah. instantly turns It's so on. weird looking. And now it shows it's on low. You can go medium high, right? That's your speed. Low. As you guys see, it like walks like a little bug or something. Kind of cool. Okay, so just turn it on right. It automatically starts on low one direction. You hit the button again. It goes on high. Then you hit it again, it'll switch directions, and then you switch it again, and it's on high. Now, to use this, just plain and simple, and put it up on your head and just start. Guys, it's just one of the things. It looks weird, but it actually feels really great on, on the head. I can't say enough about that one. I, I really felt weird doing that video. I, I don't know why. Now, the next product up is actually from Anchor, guys. Anchor, if you guys... Uh, I thank you. I yawn you. Uh, thank you for the follow now, Anchor, guys, this is the PowerCast M300 uh, streaming microphone. This is a full aluminum base style microphone with a swivel bottom. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a few things during this. We're just going to play the video, and I'm going to actually talk about it while it's, we're showing you guys some of the stuff because I want to talk about this. James here, and today we're taking... Let's jump forward slightly, right? Now, this this microphone needs to be pointed at you when you're using it. There's a couple little drawbacks with this microphone that aren't bad, aren't deal breakers. I'm telling you guys, for the price, it's a great microphone. The gain knob on the front clicks, and you can hear it in the microphone feedback if you don't have noise removal software. So you actually hear the gain click if you're using the gain while recording. Or if you click the mute button, it makes a little pop. And that right there is the metal base that has the swivel part. You actually have the... The cable, the USB-C to USB-C cable. You also have a USB-C to USB-A cable. Then you have the bottom of the microphone. This gives you the where you can turn the LEDs on. It also gives you a feedback 3.5 plug in there so you can plug it in. All of that. Guys, it, it's a great product. The only problem is, is that sound. And I'm going to actually play this so you guys can hear this. Mute, play, pause and turn up the volume and all that cool stuff on the now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually grab connect this up so you guys can hear what i'm talking about hey we're going to plug this in and then we'll actually be recording from that so if you guys give me a second we'll plug it in then we'll show you guys what it looks like and all that so give me a second i'll be right yeah it'll, it'll a little drawback but not bad we have hooked up guys you're hearing everything from that microphone the anchor powercast m300 now what you're going to notice is there's background noise. Of course, this doesn't have noise removal software, so you're a little stuck with that. Now, I'm going to pick it up. Of course, you guys are going to hear a little bit because there is no background removal noise, but you will hear some stuff. But I want to show you guys this. As you guys see, it's nice. Gorgeous microphone. It really is now, nice looking. What this is, does have a volume control, guys. You can actually adjust this up and down. And I'm going to do this, and you're going to hear what I hear. And I actually tested this right beforehand, but you'll see that it actually makes... Here's There's the clicking. Right? Now we're going to adjust that back up. Now, even when I mute it, and I'm going to press mute, guys, and you're going to see it's going to turn red right here instead of blue. When I mute it, you hear the pop. And I muted it. Now, now honestly, that can be that fixed by a new pop. switch. Uh, they upgrade a switch system. It will. It's an easy fix. It's not a big drawback. It works well. The mic actually sounds decent. Right now, you're not hearing it the best until I turn it towards me, right? That's how I heard that it actually had the clicky noise. Not a big deal. But if I bring it closer, turn the microphone towards me, you guys will actually Crystal clear voice. It is a great microphone. Because unidirectional microphone, it needs to be close to you guys. Don't put it away, far away. 
at least two to three feet, guys, is the preferred minimum away from you. Uh, the microphone I am using now is actually farther than that away, and that's because it's a Blue Yeti. But the PowerCast works great, sounds great. Just that one little drawback, but is it a big drawback? Because if you're like me, you preset the gain up and you don't touch the gain again. Uh, if you mute the microphone, I use my software or something else to mute the microphone. So I don't actually use the microphone itself to mute it. So not a big deal, not a big drawback, but for like 50 bucks, guys, this is like a no-brainer. If you want to get into the world of gaming, streaming, or whatever, it's a great beginner microphone and a great price. I'm telling you, it's actually really not bad. Now, the PD Power Bank from Crave, guys. This is their Plus Pro Aluminum Power Bank. This thing is a beast of a power bank. James here with Quick Unboxing Showcase. God, new it's James with Quick Crave. Unboxing this 4 minutes Plus long. Pro Eternal Portable Charger. So, this is a power bank, guys. This power bank is a 20,000 milliamp power bank with a 76 watt capacity charge, right? This takes about three to four hours to charge itself. Then you have an operating uh, temp of about 14 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, so it should work in most types. This is a lithium polymer battery. It does have an input type C, guys, so it is an input type C, but the type C port is an in and out port, so you can charge or charge itself or charge a phone through the same port. You also have two QC 3.0 ports. Those are quick chargers or quick, uh, quick and intelligent chargers, guys. So... They will charge your 3.0 USB ports a lot Bear faster, you, which is I'm very, very cool. Quick. So you have the 45 watt type C charging port. So that will charge very fast also. Now, bring this a little closer. I'm going to grab a couple things. I think we're going to show you guys the next with me also. So, as I you got guys see, nice so little box, right? We're just going to pop it open. Kind of give you guys a look. On the back, it shows you the warranty and everything else. That's kind of cool that they have that on the box. Then you have the device itself, which is actually got some girth to it. That's kind of cool. We'll get back to this device in a second, right? So inside here, you have the manual to yeah, show you what to my do. My chat closed. Just pretty plain and simple, right? Then you have a warranty certificate. This is cool that they give you that. Yeah, we don't care. Then we have inside here is an adapter. This is a USB plug, right? That's where well, that adapter USB came plug from. It has a USB C. There's a funny port. Port. thing about that, guys. Dongle. And then they give you in here, which is actually that dongle's really cool. still laying here, and I was trying to figure out where it came from. It's a USB C to USB C. Now I don't think there's anything else. There isn't, so we're not going to worry about the box. I, I now know so where it came from. USB C to USB C. This will work if you need to go to USB-C to oh, USB, right, to charge. Or if you have a USB-C to USB-C phone, like I have a USB-C charging port phone right here, that will work also. So we have the device itself. The device, man, they wrap it in plastic to keep it nice looking. Let's kind of, you know, see if we can peel this. Honestly, guys, this is a very good power bank if you need it. It is actually very powerful. It has a lot of power. It's a 20,000 milliamp power bank, guys. You literally can charge multiple phones off this device with no problem. Now, it is the QC 3.0 dual charging, so it has the quick charge capability. It will charge your phone fast. I I'm telling you, this is just a great, great power bank if you need one. Now, it is a little steeper on the, the uh, you know price side, but I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed with this and, and how it works. It's fast to charge itself, and then it's fast to charge your devices off it. It's got all the ports you need. It's just great product. Crave made a very, very phenomenal product with this one. Now, we're going to switch scenes, and we're going to actually talk about the next product. The next product up in this carousel is actually the Corsair Iron Claw Wireless Gaming Mouse. Now... I use this mouse daily. Now, since I use this mouse so much, I've moved away from recharging it. And that's because this doesn't have the wireless charging. You know, I would have loved to have been wireless charger uh, capable, but it's not. But it is a wireless mouse. Now, cool thing is this does have the slipstream wireless dongle, which gives you that one millisecond of a delay. So you don't have a lot of delay or lag when playing. Now you can do Bluetooth, 
You can do wired or you could do the wireless dongle. So you have multiple options with that. You have a very nice little grip in here, guys. I mean, it feels great. Now it is an RGB, but it only lights up in a couple little areas, right? So not a big deal with the software. You can actually, you know, I was going to move something real quick. So just bear with me. Um, you know, you have the dongle, you have the other dongle, you have the other connectors and all that to boot if you need that. So another cool part is, is let me grab the other dongle. So this is the dongle, a uh, separate dongle for this mouse. If you want to use a USB to USB-C port, you can connect that wireless dongle into this, then use a USB cable to connect it to a USB port on your PC. You have that option. Or you have this very nice braided cable already. This is just a simple little cable. This is to charge it nice length. This is what I use daily because I get tired of charging my, my device all the time. So I do it this way. Very simple, very easy, guys. Scroll wheel works good. All of the buttons work good. I mean, there are multiple buttons. You have the scroll, right, left, right. You have your DPI. You have, I believe that's memory. Then you have multiple other buttons, which is, can be good. You have a snipe button, guys, if you need to use the snipe button. I'm telling you, this mouse is just a great, great mouse. My only problem when moving to this mouse is, is I miss my Logitech scroll wheel. Uh, if you guys know about Logitech, the Logitech G502 and the Logitech G903 have the uh, click the scroll wheel, which does free scroll. So I missed that. But other than that, it's a great, great one. Now, this does do 18K DPI uh, precision optical sensor. It does have um, one DPI resolution step ups if you need. It has the full software, guys. If you need it, up, add the software, you're good to go. Now I'm gonna fix my mouse because I adjusted some stuff. So bear with me. All right, my mouse is fixed now. Now I can use this again. So you actually have the Corsair software, guys, if you needed to adjust it. The Corsair Firestorm, or that's, that's not it. Where's my Corsair software? The IQ. So Corsair has the IQ software, guys. Inside that software will allow you to adjust the DPIs, will allow you to adjust and change um, uh, a lot of other stuff. It will allow you to pretty much do anything and everything you need with this mouse, including changing what the mouse does. So if you need to change the mouse and make sure the buttons do something else, you can set it up in there also. You do have macros. You have everything in there. It has pre-set up settings. You can use p other people's settings that they like. It will also control like your uh, your RGB lighting. It, in that software, it's just a full software. Great little mouse. Great price, guys, if you need something like that. So now we're going to be moving over to the crown full. Uh, you know what? I still use that. All right, I still have this one, guys. This is the Crownful 10.6 port air fryer. This thing, I love this air fryer. I use this air fryer probably every other day. Not even kidding. If you guys need an air fryer, this is definitely the one to get. I love this air fryer. Switch jeans. I'm telling you guys, if, if you don't take anything else on the stream, this air fryer is just amazing. <coughs> James here from Dragon Blogger with an unboxing of a new product. This is from Crownful. This is the 10 in 1 air fryer toaster oven. Now, guys, this will do rotisserie. It does dehydration, so you can make jerky in this if you really wanted. It has a digital LCD screen, it has all the accessories that you could ever want. It uh, also does toaster oven. Confection of the roaster. Also dehydrator and yeah. rotisserie, which is pretty cool. Maybe Whole bunch of stuff pizza. plus more. This is their 10.6 quart uh, product. It comes with one drip tray, to, uh, rotisserie shaft. It comes with the rotisserie basket. All right, for, guys. Like, fries Don't forget about the giveaway. We do have a giveaway coming up. It comes up. with eight skewers for like um, skewer sticks. It also comes with two mesh racks so you can cook on one clip and uh removal tongs but the box is pretty cool as you guys can see from the size of this box it is rather this large talks too much 
front door. If you've never used an air fryer, oh, it, kind of like I that. I about that. that. It comes with a cookbook. Make sure this is on one side and then stick it in. Then thumb tighten it. Then you spear the chicken. Then you add this to the other side and do the same thing. And then you have set it in and rotisserie your chicken. You have eight skewers. These are eight metal skewers. I'm not going to pull these out. If you guys have seen a skewer, that's pretty cool. And then we have the product itself. You have to pull the tape off the doors. Same you just this jump side, forward a little, right? The bottom. Or you now, I do suggest making sure that you have all tape, film, and stuff off your devices for using them. Inside here, we'll pop this open. You know, we have some more stuff. Let's see if we can get all this out. Now they make sure this stuff's packed in there great, but the one drawback is that styrofoam. Like I said, you will need to make, make sure, sure you get all, all of that empty. out of the inside. Make sure you clean it out. There is styrofoam. You do not want the styrofoam in here melting. It'll ruin your device. I have also learned that this air fryer will allow you to detach that front door so you can clean it more better or more properly. So just so you guys know. I drop a chunk of styrofoam on the ground. We're going to pick that up and move it. So, we're not going to use this right now, but if you guys can see, there's a coil up here inside. There is your score and your rotisserie. Pretty cool. Or drip trays. So, you guys can actually see. So, guys, I'm telling you, this thing works really good. Now, I've made burgers in this, I've made steaks, I've made um, uh, roasted vegetables, I have done. Uh, skewers. I've actually done steak skewers. I've done chicken skewers. I've made bacon in this, sausage, uh, brats, uh, pizza, fries, everything and anything. And I have never had a problem with this thing. In fact, I've done other air fryers since then. And I'm telling you right now, this works better than that. I, I, I just, this one I keep going back to. I do not want to get rid of it. It's one of them air fryers that just, once you use it, it's like, wow. Now, I would have loved it to have been a little bit bigger, but that's just me because I like to make a mi big meal that lasts two or three days. But, you know, adjusting the temperatures very easily. It has preset uh, meals already on it uh, if you need. It has anything and everything, and plus the rotisserie. I did do a rotisserie little game hen, and that actually came out pretty good. So, guys, Crownful did a great job with this air fryer. I'm not even kidding. Uh, we had a team member on our team that asked us what air fryer we love the most. And I'm telling you, this one is it. And it at like $87 today. It's just a crazy deal. Oh, a massage gun. We got a massage gun coming up. How big of a chicken will it fit? Uh, you know, it'll fit a decent sized chicken. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to fit a turkey. <laughs> Uh, I've had, I think the game hen I had in it was like a five pound game hen. I know you can probably fit like at least a 10 pound chicken in there. Probably no problem. Depending on how wide it is, you know, if it's longer, you know, if it's fat, you're good. Air fried Costco. You know, I've never done that. I don't have Costco, so. <laughs> yeah. I love Costco, man. If you guys don't know Costco, Christmas is the time to hit Costco. Their peppermint bark is phenomenal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cornish game hens, man. Just, woo. <clears throat> Pheasant's good. You know, all of that. I, I just, you know, I, I love it. Chicken wings, yeah. I, you know. I'm a dumpling guy. If you guys put a uh, plate of dumplings in front of me, it's over. I'm like Poe. Uh, not even kidding. I'm like Poe. You put this body is built by dumplings, man. <laughs> rotisserie. My my wife loves rotisserie chicken. I prefer my chicken cooked in gravy. Just saying. I like a smothered chicken or a smothered pork chop. <laughs> Rotisserie's good, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm not even kidding, though. This air fryer is really good, guys. It really is a good one. Now, back over to the dark iron. Oh, I did this one. 
Whoa. Hey, Sharon, today we're taking a quick look at the Dark Iron Massage Chicken Gun. Wings. This is our EM30. I don't need wings. It has 10 different massage heads with it and a carrying case. I like chicken breast. First, breasts. I see the simple oh. little box. Do we need the box? No, we don't need the box because we already pulled it out for you. So to, this is the actual carrying case. I think this is the one my kid took from me. Which is a nice carrying case, guys. Now, we're going to open this up. Make sure you open it the right direction. There is a direction. The lid will be shorter on the direction you want up. So we'll pop that up just like this. Start double zipping it. It does have a double zipper, a nice soft or semi-soft shell case. And we'll flip it open. You guys will see the device like this, just like me. You'll see the garlic um, marinade. Heads, several heads. There's 10 different heads. Plus she has instructions. And there's actually more heads behind the instructions. I'm sad. Now, we don't really need the instructions, but the instructions are good, right? So let's grab My wife likes garlic. She just down. made garlic wings the other day. Set this aside just like Ow. this. So you have multiple little heads. You have chisel I'm not a vampire. Heads, or maybe I am. Just like these. You have the double hook head. And then you have your paddle heads. You know, concave styles. We'll just set them aside. Then you have the one I really love. I love these ones, and I just dropped them. But then you also have your ball heads. Now, this is actually nice and firm. I'm a firm believer of the concave heads on the massage guns. I'm not even kidding, guys. I love the concave. Large style ball. Or if you guys need a hook, they have the hook style, which is really cool also. Or if you guys want the bullet, the bullet's good for deep penetrating uh, certain areas. Then you have your power brick, of course. Just simple, quick, easy. Then we have the device itself. Now I'm going to pull this out. And show you guys this. This is actually it's in tail. It's almost looks nice and slick, but it's got a nice grippy feel, which is really nice. Simple, elegant look. You have your piston uh, motor up here, guys. This is where you'll put the ball head in or any other head you want. I uh, dropped one, so let's grab this and show you guys this. Just put it in. Make sure it's nice and in firm. On the back, you have a large LED screen, but to get there, you have to come down here. This is where you'll plug it in. Hey, basically, it good morning, man. Switch it over to power it on. Now, since it's not powered up, it the there it is. Now we're good to go, right? So we're on. That's your power button. On, off. You have a nice little LED display. Nice, yeah, simple little massage gun with an LED screen. Now, it does not have all digital or like all numbers. It does show you like the battery life is in green bars. It shows you the power level in green bars. It is a four step. Uh, power so not 20 step does tell you how long you have and it does do the auto timer guys great little massage gun very simple very easy we'll pop over and move forward a little more right hopefully you yeah guys see it in action guys if you need a massage gun it's a nice one works well trying to wake up i should have never got up i didn't sleep all night though oh the going guys i'm going to tell you right now these are just very cool uh, I'm going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this. This is Asian style spoons and bowls. Now, I love these. I use these for pastas all the time. It has became our pasta bowls. Now, it's also my dumpling bowls when I have Chinese dumplings. But I use it for pasta. This is a cool, very, very awesome ceramic set, guys. Highly recommend this set. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase of a new product, guys. This is from uh, Dawan or Dawan. This is a six-piece black Asian-style soup spoons. These are good for like soups, uh, stews, pho, you know, wontons, and all that Slackers. good stuff. So let's pop Cut it open and give you guys a quick look here at the product. I may have crashed out of the Unfortunately, I don't have morning, no food hey. made up for this right now, so we're just gonna show them off and show them to you as we can. Now, if you guys have never seen these, these are actually pretty cool. And Ooh, I'm going to grab these guys. I actually like them. If I can get it open without hurting myself. Oh, without breaking it too. So, we have six of these immaculately nice looking spoons. Let's show a video. Right? What's the point? Guys. Watch your video when I can show you guys the bowl. Guys, this is a nice, deep, ceramic bowl, guys. I love the coloring, you guys. There are other colors if you don't like the black. It's a nice bowl. Now, these really do make 
awesome soup or pasta bowls. Look at the size of it. It's almost bigger than my head. I can almost hide behind this thing. I might be able to. So, great little bowl. Now, the spoons. Spoons are awesome, guys. Special food like drop flour, dumpling soup, or any type of soups, guys. Drop soups, drop egg soups. Uh, very simple, very easy. Does have a little hole, so if you guys want to hang them, you do have that option. Nice little deep. Definitely get in there to get that broth out. Maybe you're having some faux, uh, you know, something simple. It definitely works great, guys. These are awesome in the coloration and just, it, just, we love these. We use these all the time. I literally just used these the other night for chicken fettuccine, the night before that for spaghetti and pasta, and the night before that for Chinese food. I'm not kidding. We use these a lot. Now, every time I turn around, my kids use them for cake. Uh, did you miss any fun and giveaways? Yes, you missed it all. I gave away my life. No, giveaway's still coming up, man. But these are a great set, guys. Really, really nice, nice set. If you need them, I'm telling you, it is just great. Well, that's cool because guess what? I got 15 more I earned today on the game. <laughs> If you have any questions about the Doan or Dawan uh, bundle set, guys, really, really nice set. And like I said, they do have multiple colors. The one we're showing you here is blue and black, but they do have black and black and other stuff like that. Good morning, Rising Siren. And we're going to talk about the next one, the Dream Egg. D1 sound machine. We're not going to show it. We're just going to talk about it, right? This is just literally sound, white noise sound machine, guys. This has multiple sounds i'm not even kidding when i say multiple sounds this has a lot of sounds you have seven white noise you have seven fans i believe you have 10 relaxing nature sounds uh the nature sounds i believe is like the bird the sea the brook a little star lullaby music box thunder rain um do i even think there's a cricket one on this one uh and a fetal tone. I'm not really sure about the fetal tone. That one kind of threw me off. It has a night light. has a timer switch. comes in two colors. You got white or black, I believe, if I can remember off the top of my head. Um, if you need a white noise machine, this is actually a really cool one. Um, used it for a little while. Uh, my wife loves birds, so she likes to listen to birds. Uh, if you know me, I don't like the chirping of birds in the morning, so kind of did away with it. But... Dream Egg did a great one with the D1 sound machine, guys. This is actually a really nice white noise sound machine that has more than just white noise. Uh, if you have the type of person that loves fan noises going on but don't like the fan blowing on you, this is actually another little great option on that also. So, let me pop this over. I lost chat. Why did I lose chat? Oh, chat's back. Um, let's see. What do we got next? Oh, the electric dual head fabric shaver. We will definitely show you guys a video of this. I use this on my couch. We got a few more products coming up. Then we're doing a giveaway. In the showcase of a new product, guys. This I'll is give away. West. I'm this giving five dollars worth. Lint remover or fabric shaver. This is a dual yeah. head style. It is a rechargeable device. Now this has now dual head, dumplings. so it can go up to twelve centimeters. Can I have wide some dumplings, sir? Please, sir. May I have some more? It does have. Um, it can use it on wool, knit, cotton, cashmere, or couches like I'm going to use it on because that's what I truly need it for. Now, you'll get about three and a half hours use on a full charge. It is a USB-C style, as you guys can see the device here. And I will flip it over, and there is your USB style charger. Now, to clearing this out, guys, you just see my slide kid was in getting cake, the little thing, and that's how cake you clear comes it out. all over the counter. Now, as you guys can see here, it is a nicely Nice looking design, nice white heads, dual razors, power buttons on the back, of course, right? They do give you a nice carrying case to go with it. And it is actually. But how really well does soft. it work, sir? I mean, you could use this for anything besides Please, just sir. this device. Can you just show us how it works? Very easy, very simple. Second, power button, turn it on. That's level one. That's level two. We're just going to go with level one, right? And I can already hear it. Uh, working, which is crazy. Let's go to level two. Start shaving the couch.
I'm going to drop back down. We're going to kind of pull this open and see what we got in here. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember, guys, I it forgot. is a shaver, so just be careful. So, pop it down. And inside here is what we'll have all of our shavings. And as you guys see, that's that what's what shaved off, off that couch. couch, including that. That is all the fuzz and fabric that's shaved off this couch. Now, remember, guys, the more you shave on this couch, literally, guys, you can use this on these sweaters. You can use this on the couches. You can use it on, you know, pretty much fabrics you need. It works very, very well. But it is just that. It's a shaver. So you got to be careful with what you're shaving, how much you're shaving, because it is, you know, it's the fabric you're working on. Guys, Desert West did great with this dual head shaver. I love it on my couch. What do we got? The Dream Deck Room Lightweight. Oh, hey. Okay. Let's see what this is. I didn't do this. Hello, everybody. Today we are taking it's a Jackie. look at the Deck Room Queen Comforter Set. This is how it comes when it first arrives in the mail, which is actually perfect size. Not too big, not too small. So let's open it up and see how it looks. So here it is. It comes in a wide variety of colors, but I chose the blue gray in the queen set. Now, nice I know it does take a minute to completely expand. It did say to give it a few hours or just put it in the dryer. For Guys, like quick. most things, I will tell you, if you get something that is vacuum sealed, that's like, let's say a mattress pad, a pillow, a blanket, Give it 24 hours. Let it actually fluff back up to where it should be before start using it. Because, like memory foam, it will remember. And yeah, will remember. Plump. It also comes with matching pillowcases. Cases. So everything looks aesthetic and matching. Hey, two. I didn't know that word. What's aesthetic mean? It is 100%. Uh, teachers? Any teachers in here? And it does have box stitch design, which helps keep all of the fluff in it from being shifted around when you wash hey, it. Hey, Maxie. See, each box keeps the fluff in its designated box. And as you can see in the corner, there are four corners for easy duvet attachment. So that's really cool. So this actually has the option to put a duvet cover over it, and they leave the tags. Now, she says it has four. I guarantee it's got six at least, if not eight. So it has the four corners, and it should have two or four other little pinpoints in the middle. That's cool. And in general, the whole thing is overfilled with premium. My earbud fell out. Hold on, guys. Micro I apologize. Flowers. Earbud fell out. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. A great little comforter. Yeah, a simple little comforter if you need it. Uh, travel Diva, hello. If you need a little little set there. Now we're going to be moving over to the Atepa sleeping pad. I believe Jackie did this one also. Hello, everybody. Today we are I'm checking out the Atepa sleeping pad. So let me put it together and then we will talk about it. So here it is. Have to test it inside today. The weather outside is not great for. <laughs> Full testing, it did come with two little wraps when you wrap it all up and a patch if there's a hole in it. It took about a few, I think about 15 breaths for me. It said about 20 or so. Here it is. Okay, trying to do a good tall angle, but I am 5'8 or so. This one, clearly there is more than enough room for me the full way so and my dogs apparently too so it, <laughs> yes we will go camping i promise so here it is <laughs> here it is at the full height it is very soft very squishy <laughs> doggos okay. gotta love doggos i know i know i know <laughs> Let's go camping. So it is also water resistant and designed to keep out all of the cold, but also keep in all of your air heat as well. Very soft, very simple, right to the point. Let me see. 
but it's light to roll back up. And yeah, it's a nice little product if you need one for camping or just throw around the house to lay on. This has actually got you covered via tap, sleeping bag, or pad. Now we're going to be moving over to the men's athletic shorts, guys, before we have a couple more live packages. To show you guys this. I believe Demetrius did this. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be did, showing you did. guys these men's insulated. Yes, two in one. You can either work out. And I'm already insulated though. Uh, running these, it comes with a towel loop, as you can see, and it also comes with a zipper on the back side, as you can put your keys in there if you want to go for. A it ride. would not fit also, my wallet, sir. It has another pocket, which is really cool on Sad. the thermals. It has a pocket right here where you can put your phone in, and it'll stay in there sturdy. Really cool design. Uh, it also has thermals built in, as you can see. And it also has a uh, drawstring right here. Not that they come in, uh, seven inches for you know for if you want to go on a run or if you want to spot. Also, now remember, guys, and coming up, we're going to be do, doing a five dollar gift card giveaway, guys, of course. If you want to work out in so, these, really soft, really enter. comfortable, and really don't enter, you can't uh, win. Design with having the phone pocket right here, and Quick, also I better enter. deep pockets in the front and on the side, and also having a little towel loop if you wanted to go to the gym and just put your towel in there instead of putting your towel on the floor. And again, my name is Demetrius, and thank you guys for watching this video. Simple little men's athletic shorts if you guys need them. Now, we're on our last two products of the day, and I'm going to switch over because I got these products. And since I have these products, they are brand new. Now, the first one up is the Apple AirTag. If you guys don't know what that is, it is a little tag that you can use to connect to devices or into items to actually save or protect you from losing it. Um, no, today is not Prime Day. So guys, the Apple AirTag, just a simple little, little product, guys. It easily connects up to your phone or the app on your phone. We're gonna pop this out, we're gonna show you guys this. Simple little tool, guys, it walks you through, tells you how to do it right here, right? Shows you how to uh, connect it up to your phone. It literally will say, update to the latest iOS or iPad OS. Turn on Bluetooth, then pull the tab, and you are good to go. Now, we're going to actually pop this out and show you guys this. Then hold near the device and pair it. So the device, simple little white round ring. This thing can be put on anything. Now, a couple of things that they actually say you can do this, guys. You literally can keep track of your devices, even your friends, if you really want it, or you're a creep, put it in their pocket, and you can track them. I don't suggest that. This is good for items or even your car. Throw it in your car and you can track your car, right? That's the way it works. So, this also has a built-in play of sound, built-in speaker, so it will trigger a sound if you want. Now, it can also do further way where you can actually interlink it with Find My Network and it will actually interlink with everybody else's stuff to go in it. Now, the cool thing is this is really good for luggage. You go on a trip and you want you don't want to lose your luggage. Put an Apple tag on your luggage. Uh, the range is just unlimited, man. I'm going to tell you right now. It's unlimited because it will connect or jump on other devices. So that's the one thing about these little devices. So it has, it has a network. So anybody's Apple phone, it will ping off of, but they can't read it unless they have access to it. So that's the difference. So if there's an Apple phone nearby in the area percent or the proximity, it can ping this and it will send it to the network where you can actually see it. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because of the next next little item. No. So I don't use it for that. This is what, you know, I've never had one. This is the first time I've had the little Apple AirTag. And that's because Raptic asked us to do their link and lock. This is a luggage lock, guys. This is for putting on your luggage. If you guys have traveled lately, you know how much your luggage gets lost or stolen at airports. Connect this up to that. It has a three-code lock on it, guys. And I'm going to talk about this next. This also. This is built out of polycarbonate. It has a three-digit lock. It will actually lock the air tag in it and lock it onto the device you want it locked onto. This is cool because let's say you're traveling with uh, luggage. Let's say you're traveling, maybe you're going hunting 
and you want to put it on your case there or uh, even a drone case and you don't want to lose it this has the locks and I'm going to show you guys this this is actually really cool this is why I like this pull it out let's show you guys this I'm not even kidding so this is the size of this this is like a four inch uh, carbon air lock guys it is big you're not gonna hide this people are gonna see this and they'll be like oh okay so you have the little lock you have the digital it comes apart just like this guys right you have the lock you have the code it's almost like a locker code scroll it around and move it around and pop it out this lets you slide this device out and this is where we'll pull it out kind of like this this is your case for that now this pops apart Let's see if I can actually get this pop apart on camera hopefully I can get this part on camera So you pop it apart, you put your apple in there, you set this back on. There is a little ring here, just like this, both sides. Let's make sure I put this on right. Just like that. But it may fit a little snug and tight right now, because I still have, oh, I have it backwards. Do, do, do. Then it's inside that. That is how you put the Apple AirPod in there. Then you slide this back onto this device. There's a little hook there. That hook is for this little notch, right? So you put that little notch there. Set it down. Twist it. You are now locked in place. You lock the piece. Let's make sure I got that right. Maybe I'm putting that in a little wrong. And then it locks in place. And I mean, when I mean it locks in place, guys, it locks tight. Let's make sure I can get this to lock. Just like that. This locks to the mechanism. Then this locks to your luggage. It is just that good. Um, It's actually a new product, so it may not have the price just yet. Guys, they just wanted us to show this off. This is a cool little product. Save your luggage. Save your items track it just that way that easy guys you have your three digit combination yes the combination can be changed you do not have to use the combination that comes with it make your own it does tell you how to do it how to use it and everything else in the little instruction book if you guys need guys raptic if you don't know who raptic is guys they make my awesome case that i use on my phone gorgeous case now they have you guys set up for your luggage Anti-theft, guys, heavy-duty combination lock construction made out of polycarbonate with the housing, guys. This is very, very cool. Very awesome. That is the last product. Now, I'm gonna actually going to try to, hopefully, uh, I may have locked it in place and forgot the combination. Uh, my bad. I'll find it later. Anyways, guys, ready for a giveaway? Yeah, I had a price earlier. I don't see the price now, so I'm not really sure. Right, let's do a giveaway. Yeah. All right, nobody's ready. I'm out. Later, guys. <laughs> I don't want to do a giveaway. Are right, you guys? A uh, five dollar gift card. Five dollar gift card, man. Do 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 do. I'm not ready. I am so tired, and I think I'm coming down with something. So I'm going to be honest. I am not ready. Ah, it's all good. I'll live. There you go. There's your price. 39 Somebody found it. Yeah, it was there earlier. <laughs> Our winner is... Eric. Eric, are you still here? I think Eric left. I have not seen Eric. Vitamin C. Yeah, I've been. I've had enough vitamin C. I'm going to be honest with you. Eric, are you here? 
Has anybody seen Eric, or should we just uh, re re roll? Do, 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 do. Eric has like 37. Eric, Eric has. <laughs> I shouldn't even have to say it. it was the only Eric that I've seen in chat right now for a while. While we're doing that, we're going to pop this back apart, right? Eric, Eric's not here. I'm telling you, Eric left. I'm timing it, so don't worry. <laughs> He's being timed. Eric, Eric. Oh, Eric, where are thou? Ah, uh, probably something. Hey, he's got 15 seconds, guys, so I'm telling you right now, 15 seconds and it's up. Five seconds. Five seconds. All right, F's in chat. Eric didn't show up, guys. Uh, Reroll. Reroll. Sad, sad. Sorry, Eric, you did not show up, so you do not get it. I'm going to repick the winner right now. So let's see who the new winner is. LaRonda P. LaRonda P. Are you here? Yeah. Let's see. Timer started. LaRonda P. It, it just shows me that name. I can't see the other name. So, if that's who it is, I know they were here. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. I will have Justin email you that uh, gift card as soon as he can. I know he's really busy at work today. So, congratulations. You are today's winner. Yeah, I want to thank you all for being here, of course, after a long prime day week so far. Uh, I am here again, you know. Uh, we do have some streams later on for you tonight also. I believe Nate is on later tonight and or later today. Then we have Ast Aster will be on even later than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely saw you. So, guys, I'm going to go off. I'm going to pick up this huge mess I got here, and I'm going to probably try to nap a little, hopefully beat whatever's coming down. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great one, everyone. Drink I dude. I always drink water. That's water. I got the water. Got that water, water. Have a good one, guys. See you guys all later.